It all started with a, a puppy dog, right? You guys got a dog. And Genevieve, you actually told me that your dad was on the prowl for a husband for you, right? And you were like, I'm, my dad is going to find me a husband. And in his mind, Garrett has always been the guy, right? He's always known that. And you told me yesterday, you said, the moment you, you were all back on the market, he was like, all right, Garrett, you got to meet Genevieve, right? So, <laughs> um, it, it's been a pleasure to get to know you. And you know what? This is what I know about you. I don't know much, but I know that you're the one that won his heart. And I know that you're the reason that he's standing at this altar today. And I don't know that he would have ever, ever stood here if it wasn't for you. And I don't know that he would have ever decided to make this decision to be married if it wasn't for your heart for him and your commitment to him. Before God and this company of friends and family. Before God and this company of friends and family. Make covenant with you, Garrett Grant. Make covenant with you, Garrett Grant. I do take you to be my lawfully wedded husband. I do take you to be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for richer. For richer or for poorer. <laughs> <laughs> I will make you repeat these vows. <laughs> I've done it before, I'll do it again. For as much as you, Garrett, and you, Genevieve, have consented together in wedlock, and have pledged your love and loyalty to each other in, sight, in the sight of God and these family and friends, and have confirmed the same by joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, now therefore, 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife, whom God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss your bride. I now have the distinct and unique honor and privilege of presenting to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Garrett Grant. Garrett and Tel Aviv, we love you guys. We're so glad that we could be here and share this moment with you and it's an honor to be a part of it. That's something that you get to look forward to is, is a man that loves, cares, and appreciates everyone before anything else or before himself. I hope that Genevieve really realizes that she's marrying a great, great man. Um, Genevieve, welcome. We love you. We all love you. When I met Garrett, I knew that he'd be able to show her the real way to be loved and feel like she was important and loved and special. And that's how I knew that it was going to work out. Like, I just, I just knew. Just let your love be stronger than anger because that's really important. Don't, don't let your anger fuel any fire. I want to thank you for picking me to stand next to you and honor you as your maid of honor. And holding your chest and... So, on that note, I propose a toast and may the best day of your life be the worst day of your future. Alright, Genevieve, I've, for those of you that don't know, I've always referred to as V or VV. It's a long story, but she's my little V. My little V. She knows I love her, and this is wonderful. I'm very happy. Garrett, not only are you like a son to me, you are now a son to me. And the family. Love you very much. Thanks for doing this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now we're going to have our little dance. And thanks for everybody for coming out and sharing this cold. We truly are blessed and cannot wait to share our lives together. And also with all of our friends and family. And, uh, and uh, yeah, thank you. Cheers. Bottoms up. We love you. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you to our family who is here working like dogs without a wedding planner. So you guys rock. Yes. Let's party.